The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Everybody and welcome to the Happiness Jungle TV show with yours truly, your Chief Happiness Officer, Lindy Eldridge. And I am going to introduce you to a woman today that has been inspiring me for a very, very long time. As a matter of fact, almost 11 years. It's been 11 years. And you may not always be connected with them, uh, you know, in public because you're off in two different areas. I was in Florida. She's in New Hampshire. But because of this wonderful thing that we have called social media, I was able to stay connected with her and be inspired by her all the time. In New Hampshire, the women are blessed to have Miss Leslie, Leslie, I just became a <laughs> southerner, Leslie Davis. Do you like to use the Davis? I use Davis? Just Leslie Sturgeon. Okay, just Leslie Sturgeon. And she is the founder, aren't you, of Women Inspiring Women here in New Hampshire, and it gives me great pleasure to share her with you today. Hi, Leslie. Hi. Thanks for having me here. Are you kidding me? I've been dying to have you on my show. <laughs> this is my second season that we're taping mm -hmm. and recording, and I feel so happy that you carved our, our time in your busy schedule mm -hmm. to be here with us. Well, thank you. Thanks for having so, me. So, yeah. It's nice to see you again. It's been a while. It's been a long time, yeah. huh? Yeah, Things have changed in our lives a little they bit. They have, a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But back in 2007, you were very, very passionate. I remember meeting you, and it was at an expo. Like-minded people find each other, don't they? Absolutely. In the right locations. Mm -hmm. And uh, you inspired me right from that point on. And one of your biggest passions was making a difference. And boy, did you take that baton and run with it. And I want to talk and I want to really showcase you as the powerful woman that you are. Thank you. Yeah, and if you'd like to share part of your story with everybody so they could relate to you, because this show is all about the audience feeling us mm -hmm. and knowing that you're here and you have something that women can become a part of. Mm -hmm. And that's just so powerful. And you're also online. I watch the online community so even if you're not in New Hampshire, they could still be a part of you. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, yes. so share with us, Leslie, who are you? Oh, so who am I? I am a New Hampshire native. I grew up in the Lakes region and have continued to live there my entire life. I started my first business when I was 22 years old, so I'm 51 now, so a really long time ago. What kind of business um, was that? Uh, doing association management and office support services. Okay. So it was kind of ahead of its time back then. I was renting out executive suites, sort of like the collaborative, uh, collaborative working space that we have today, and wow. virtual assistants, but everything was done in my office. And um, the reason I started Women Inspiring Women in 2007 was because I was a young professional, and in order to learn and grow and, and overcome some of the things that I had to overcome, I surrounded myself with other professionals that mm -hmm. were obviously older because there weren't a lot of young professionals in our area at the time. Right. So that led me to um, starting my women's organization because I knew the power of surrounding yourself with women who had sort of been there, done that. Mm -hmm. And I thought if I could do this on a larger scale, on a regular basis, it would benefit not only me but everybody else that was sort of in that same situation. So that led me to starting Women Inspiring Women in 2007. And it's growing. It is growing. And the trainers and the speakers and the mentors that you have to become present are phenomenal. Thank you. So that says a lot about you. Well, we have a lot of talent right here in New Hampshire, too, mm -hmm. as you know. A lot of women that are sort of on the same personal and professional development path that mm -hmm. I've been on. And, and that's where I get a lot of my ideas from, is if, if it was something that would resonate with me, then it probably resonates with a lot of people. You know, it's the, all the stuff that we struggled with, you know, getting to where we are today. Um, so those are the types of programs that I bring in. Right. Those are the types of speakers. So very lucky here in New Hampshire to have such a great talent pool of 
uh, inspirational women, but also bringing them in for, from the outside New Hampshire for our larger events and things like that. Absolutely. Yeah. And, oh, my gosh, a bunch of round tables with a bunch of phenomenal yeah. women in one space. Wow. We don't even have hot flashes during that time. Something, <laughs> no, no. something happened, you know? Well, I think we do just from excitement of I being mean, together. Yeah, something it's good happened. hot it's flashes, a good hot, right? the time we want, yes. Yeah. But for and our New Hampshire Conference for Women, I've been lucky to, to get, like, Jack Canfield from Chicken Soup for the Soul and yep. the Success Principles and Mel Robbins and some other national. Um, this past event was Elizabeth Smart. So mm. the fact that they'll come to New Hampshire is, is pretty awesome. So, it's very, yeah. very awesome. It speaks, mm -hmm. it speaks volume of who you are Thank and you. what you're building. You know, and people look at us sometimes and they think, oh, well, these two women, they're public figures, they've got it going yes. on, they got their life all together. You know, their life is sweet. If they only knew. <laughs> they only need to read your books. They, and I wrote right? a blog about this recently that someone said to me, oh, you have a charmed life, and they don't realize how far you've come, and that yeah. the person that they see today, you and I. That's right how far we've come and what we've overcome. Yeah. And it's because of all of that and the, and the steps that we've taken that lead us to where we are today. So, yeah, it's, it may look charm, but it wasn't always, No, it's know. and even today yeah. it's not. It's, it's the mindset. Yeah, absolutely. It's the mindset that pulls yes. us through, you right. know. And um, well, I remember going to one of your, one of my first events uh -huh. um, that, you were, that you were holding, and I walked into this place and the venue was beautiful. It was in a restaurant. It was so well done. I didn't know what the rules were. <laughs> oh my God. You know, here comes Lindy, you know, fresh from Florida, real New Yorker. And I just want to love everybody. Well, I had no idea that we were supposed to take our business cards and put them on a table, yeah. not pass them around. Well, there are no real rules, but this sort of, but, but, but I know my audience and yeah. I know what kind of works for them. And because yeah. it's a cross section of people, some like you and I that are that are experienced networkers, and some that are just new to, new to doing that right. and are uncomfortable. And they're me, you know, twenty five years ago, thirty years ago, yeah. that shy, introverted person. So I try to be mindful of every type of woman that's in the group, um, and make make sure that when they're there, they. So it's it's a delicate balance yeah. of, of um, meeting the needs of the more experienced um, CEO types down to the twenty year olds, right. fresh out of school, timid. So just try to make it a community for everybody. Well, you it's know a delicate what I, balance. Yeah, but you know what I love about that and mm -hmm. what I learned about that is that it, it's, a, it's a nice, even playing field. It is. And it's not competitive. Absolutely. A lot of people think when women get together that it is very competitive. Right. And to be frank, a hen party. And it's not yeah. that at all. When you get women together that are forward thinking and progressive and want to improve them themselves in That's one right. fashion or another, that it just seems to work. Yeah. And it's this, we're all in this together sort of attitude. Right. And, and I awesome. have to share with you, you were a big component of being a teacher for me of how to build relationships in an area that's more conservative than where I'm used to. New Hampshire, New England is a very conservative area. And if yes. you're an outsider, hello, yes. it's very hard to get in that circle with the personality that right. you come in with. So if you don't step out of your shell and you don't look in and, and see, see what's, what's going, going on, on yes. you will right. never be accepted in. Mm -hmm. so, well, and it's interesting, too, because I want everyone to succeed. Yeah. It, so I want it to be, you know, if it needs, you know, a little chat about it or right. whatever, I want everyone to be comfortable and succeed, and, and their time is precious, so I right. want to maximize it for them, too. So if it's, if I can offer a little, you know, suggestions or whatever, or you know, this is the type of audience that this right. is, or, you know, whatever it may be. Yeah. But also, it's just, it's the type of women that it attracts, and mm -hmm. like attracts like. It just seems to work without really any effort. It's just the exactly. right people coming together and serving in whatever capacity, whether it's mentors or, you know, student or whatever it is. It just really works. Yeah. And there's been huge support here in New Hampshire. I'm really, really lucky. It does. And yeah. I all, and I now decided that I'm here in New Hampshire to stay for the season. I'm not, Good. you know, because I'm an empty nester now, right. so I do have events that I'm going to have to be traveling for, and I'm very excited about uh -huh. that all throughout the United States. I was invited to go speak in Jamaica at an event. I mean, I'm really excited nice. about from this forward on. Yes. But where I decided to really plant myself is here in New, in New Hampshire. So I'm excited about reconnecting with you and your organization. I can't wait, and I promise you I'll take my cards and I'll put on the, the table <laughs> there. is over a time there. and a place. If it's like a speech-losing event that we do, it's all about the networking yeah. and the business cards. If it's 
a more right. sensitive topic or something, it's like, okay, let's just connect as women. And exactly. then at the end, if you want to exchange cards. Yeah. I love it. I yeah. love it. So thank you, though, because you have to be willing to learn instead of going home and going, well, that sucked. It really wasn't right. for me. You know, it was a different. No, that's not true at all. Right. You've just stepped into a new playground. Right. Absolutely. So that's we a just, great way to put it. Right? So we just yeah. have to understand how to play on the swing and in the sandbox and And as women, too, we good. question sometimes what we do, too. Like, if it's we uncomfortable. Do. And we put ourselves in an uncomfortable situation. Right. It's like, oh, geez, that, that was uncomfortable. I'm going to not go back or whatever it is. Right. That just means you've got to come back. Yeah, because that's not the answer. <laughs> right. You know? Yeah. That's it's not as getting long used as... to something new or whatever. But, exactly. And that's a lot of my story that I, and things that I do within the group had to do with my background, like being painfully shy and that type of thing. So I try to meet people where they're at. Right. And again, it is a delicate balance. Mm -hmm. But everyone is so supportive of each other, too. Um, it's just getting out of that comfort zone and going and doing it for the first time is, yeah. is what's most important. And if it's a little uncomfortable, that's a good thing. That sometimes. is a good thing. It well, you, means you're growing <laughs> as a person. Amen. Yeah, that right? knot in our stomach that drives us insane is a good yeah. thing sometimes. So yeah. true. There are so many women that are sitting on the couches right now, and they have a dream. They have a dream. And they want to connect with like-minded people, but mm -hmm. they just don't know where to go. Mm -hmm. And they're shy. You just said it. I was a shy woman. How did you start getting out of that, you know, that mindset of being mm -hmm. shy, that you wanted to be, you know, in the background instead of in the front row? I'm a front row girl now yeah. for a reason. Mm -hmm. Not because I, I want to be loud. It's because I don't want to be disturbed. Mm -hmm. I don't want, I, I want to, when I'm at an event, I'm there because I want to learn. Mm -hmm. And if I'm in the back of the room, I'm being distracted. Yes. So share with everybody, how can we be the person that now moves up into the front of the road, you know, in front of the room? So well, you, can you, be... At this stage in your career, too, you take on a little bit different role, too. You become yeah. the mentor to a lot of these um, folks that you're around. And for me, I knew as a 22-year-old, 21-year-old, 22-year-old business owner that I needed to overcome my shyness and I needed to put myself out there if I was going to become the person that I envisioned myself to be, you know, right. strong business owner. Um, so I had to get out of my comfort zone and be uncomfortable. So the reason, I, again, I started my organization was because I was around lots of professional women and, and, a, and a fair amount of professional men. Mm -hmm. So my first tip, I guess, for anyone would be seek out mentors, whether it's actually having a one-on-one -on -one conversation mm -hmm. with somebody that you really respect and admire, or even just following them on a national level, whether it's Oprah or if it's someone that doesn't even, that you'll never have a one-on-one -on -one conversation right. with. Just kind of follow their you know, their journey and what they do and how they carry themselves. But for me, it was surrounding myself with other people has been probably the biggest key to my success. But it's twofold. Get out of my comfort zone. Right. No matter how uncomfortable it is and just keep going. And then surrounding myself with people that um, sort of mentored me and, and coached me and that type of thing. And I still do that to this day. Yeah. yeah. And so you, everyone you meet is a, is a mentor. Yeah. And you just said it too, though. I mean, I know no matter how successful I am, I have a mentor who has what I want to level up to. Oh, yeah. I haven't received that level yet. So I was very fortunate to become a brand partner with Les Brown. Wow. <sighs> that was a 30-year dream. Yes. So when you say reach out to the mentors that are on television, the celebrities, you may never meet them. I never met him, but yet he kept mentoring me. Yes. And now I collaborate with him. Exactly. Jack Canfield was one of my mentors by reading the Success Principles yes. and some of his other books. And never in a million years did I think I would actually get to share time with him mm -hmm. and have him at one of my events and, now, and get to be able to spend time with him. And he's coming back this November second. So I have goosebumps. It, it's the same type. Of, you just watch them and you're like, yeah. And, and just at one time you say, I'm just going to call and see what would happen. Uh huh. And amazing. And, and oftentimes these folks don't never get asked that. Know, could I spend 15 minutes of your right. time or whatever? Because people think that they're unapproachable or whatever it is. Right. And people are so willing to help at every level. Yeah. It's amazing. They but, want to be treated like us. Exactly. You know, yes, they have bodyguards around them. They have right. to because the world is just one crazy place. It is. But, but even if it's someone local that you admire, yes. just call and say, could I have 15 minutes of your time? Or right. Can I send you a couple questions to answer on an email or something like that? Never assume, people shouldn't assume that everyone's sort of out of their league or doesn't have time to do that. Yeah. Because people are so willing to give of their time. 
Exactly. In their talent. I went to an event when I started co-branding myself with Les Brown, and this is when we were getting to know one another. Mm -hmm. And I remember he went to the restroom, and I saw his... Uh, maybe I shouldn't say this, but I'm going to say it. Oh, anyway. we have to hear it yeah, now. Yeah, we got to hear it now, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> cat's out of the bag. Oh, we have to gracious. hear this. <laughs> <laughs> his jacket was hanging over his chair. He just went to the restroom, uh -huh. you know, and his his attaché was right there. Uh huh. I looked and I said, if I was Les Brown, what would I do? Because you know how he always stepped out of the box to get recognized. Yes. I put cards in his attaché. I put it in his. Um, uh, and his, his jackets, jacket. my red hearts that I give out all yeah. over the world. Oh, I love that. I will tell you, when he got back to his room, he was fluttering. With <laughs> <laughs> and you'll always, yeah. he'll always remember you for that. And he does, yeah. you know. And, and it's not because, again, I wanted to be a pest. It was because I wanted to be respected. Yes. And to have him realize that I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not out to hurt, you know, or stalk him in any way. But I really valued him. And I think so too there were that thank they, yous. There were a lot of thank yes, yous. Yes, and that. I think they respect it. They see that you've taken their advice sometimes. Yes. Too. Yeah. Yeah, I told us it's your yeah. fault. That's right. <laughs> he no it's to your blame fault. But himself. That's right. Yes. You know, it's so funny. I was in, and this isn't about Les Brown or anything, but it's about stepping outside of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. My 84 year old mother lives in Sunrise, Florida. In her clubhouse, they have shows. Mm -hmm. Lucille Arnez was coming to town. I love Lucille Ball. Uh -huh. I'm never going to meet her until I'm taken to that next yeah. world. And I said, e? <laughs> but her daughter, right? So I went and I fixed her up just this beautiful thank you for coming to Sunrise Lakes Phase 4. Mm -hmm. Just a fun basket because I'm the happiness jungle, right. you know, chief. And, and uh, long story short, I'm waiting and I'm watching. I'm enjoying her show and I'm like, I got to meet her. I got to meet her. And one of the last things she said before she got off stage was, never allow anybody to stop you from what you want to do. I was like, She's oh, talking to me. Lord. <laughs> she has no idea. Between Les Brown in my ear yes. saying, you know, you got to be hungry, and now her telling me never, never take no. Yes. I was like, okay. And I could feel when her show was over. You know that yes, feeling you when you right. know? Yes. And I looked, and I'm thinking, how do I get backstage? How do I get backstage? I got backstage. And I That's had, awesome. yeah, and I met her. And it was epic. My phone, my camera wasn't going to work. It didn't work. And I'm like, oh, uh -huh. my God. She said, I have to go. I have to go. I tried for two minutes to get my phone camera to work, <laughs> and it wasn't working. And she was walking away, getting in her car. Just then, my camera started working, and I screamed, Lucy, wait. She goes, I can't. And I said, you told me never to give up. And she goes, take your picture. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. and, and I have that picture, and I'm glad I have that yes. picture. And it just makes you realize that everybody is approachable. Yes, they are. You've got to be willing to step outside of your box with respect. With respect, and so I did it well, and I do it. And there well. are lessons in everything, though, too. Even yeah, yeah. even if you're following other people, it sort of as a mentor or whatever. There's lessons to be learned yeah. in the things that that kind of bother you too. Like if That's someone's right. conducting themselves a certain way, there's lots of lessons there too. So mentors and learning opportunities are everywhere. That's true. Yeah. Now, do you have a mentor program? Do you have people that could hire you to be a mentor? I actually do a lot of mentoring with the members of our group. Right. Um, that's part of what they get is if they join the organization. But Another value, a valuable part of, right. of being a part um, of Women Inspiring Women. Because I've been in business for so long and I've sort of um, been on this you know, personal and professional development journey. Wow. But also I connect them with a lot of other women in the group that if they say, well, I want to do such and such can you connect me with yeah. and everyone's so willing to give it their time so I'll connect them with somebody else in the group or somebody else in the state that I think can help them and um, you know just you know you're a connector too and I'm yeah. the same way so That's whether it's right. me doing the mentoring or or sharing you know with somebody else I love giving that referrals I love that yeah. so the value of women inspiring women is just goes on and on and on whether it's you know the wonderful inspirers that you bring to the events mm -hmm. or whether they could reach out to you when I say your name here in New Hampshire, you know everybody knows you. Do you Thank know you. you are so well known and Thank highly you. respected? Thank Every you. time I've said your name, Leslie Sturgeon, everybody smiles. Oh, it's thank not you. like, oh God, <laughs> it isn't. Their, their shoulders go back. Thank you. So thank you. 
because that's what it's all about. But as you know, no one gets to where they're at without it, it truly has taken a village to get here. I yeah. think that's sort of an overused saying. No, it's but not. But everyone from the governor's office all the way, everybody has yeah. been so supportive. And it's not just because it, it's not me. I'm just the face of it. Right. But it's the women that Women Inspiring Women represents that there's so much support. Because it's just a really good time to be a woman in New Hampshire. And mm. everyone is just so willing to just help in whatever form that might be in, whether it's the state or it's just the media community or just women yeah. in general. Um, it's just a really good time for women here. It really is, yeah. and I think it's a good time for women all over. I don't know whether it's because of the Me Too. I don't know whether it's because of what Oprah said, you know, during know. that award ceremony a just really a few weeks ago. Um, I really, you know, I don't like to time my show, but I don't know what it is that's giving us the power to stand up and be more highly respected. Yes. But women, if you're sitting on the couch, you can get off the couch now because Absolutely. you have got direction. You know, you have Leslie here, you have Women Inspiring Women, you have the Happiness Jungle TV show, you have my mentoring ship. All you have to do is raise your hand and show up. Right. Absolutely. Right? Or seek people out or another organization that might exist or just, right. just make the decision to make yeah. a change. And you don't have to belong to just one and you don't have to listen oh, no, to just absolutely. one. I mean, how many mentors do you have? I know I have. A lot. A lot, right? And, and I also collaborate with a lot of the other women's organizations. Yes. We're all offering something a little different. Whereas women are so busy, yeah. it's just whatever fits into your schedule. Right. But we're all in this together. That's right. Yeah. yeah. It's a pretty amazing thing. It is amazing. Mm -hmm. And at the Radisson, they still hold the event, don't they? Don't they still hold a women's event once a year, the expo? Uh, they do, the, the one that we met at. Yes. yes. WZID Women's Expo. But my New Hampshire Conference for Women is at the Radisson as well. I know. But it's um, the, the event that we met at. It's actually coming up pretty soon. I was I just going to say, yeah. can you tell it's us what? It's like our anniversary. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm not, um, it's can not I my event. Can I bring the cake? <laughs> oh, cake, uh -huh. yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dessert. Um, I'm not sure of the date. I feel kind of bad that I don't know That's that information. Okay. But it's um, WZID Radio is the one that hosts it. And um, sometime in the winter. Yeah. Yeah. And they also put in for nominations, right? Yes. So if you know somebody out there that's really inspiring, go ahead and nominate them. You know, there's nothing more wonderful knowing that you're making a difference. Absolutely. And, and you don't even know where it's coming from. And the New Hampshire Business Review, too, does their Outstanding Women in Business. Yeah. But that wrapped up in December, and they'll be announced um, right. in February. But there's just a lot of good things for women. There is a lot of good things. Programming and people to help. And yes, and um, places to get some recognition for others that are doing great things. Yep. And if there's a will, there's a way. And if you don't know how to do it, that's a good thing. That means that you're willing to grow and learn. Mm -hmm. You know, I love, I love, and that I don't really love, um, <laughs> the people that's, oh, I've done that. Oh, I do this. And I, whoa, yeah. you have such a wall up that you can't up, grow. Yes. And then they get kind of mean. Yes. Stale. Well, you and I talked about this. Even at our yeah. age, it's like we're eager to learn and oh. do, and we still have a lot of growth left and, and just a lot of life yeah. left still to live. Yeah. And this is the not year. Gonna stop growing. No, this is the year of the cookies in the happiness jungle. Did I tell you that? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. How to Cake maintain. And cookies? Uh huh. <laughs> How to maintain a positive, productive posture while your cookies are crumbling. I like that. Uh huh. That's, that's my signature for 2018. That's a good one. And, uh, yeah, that's my topic. That's my talk. I like that. A lot and of people are saying they're up-leveling this year, but I like up, yours better. Yeah. Oh. It's cookies. Up-leveling <laughs> is, like, the biggest thing, but I'm cookies. Yes. Yeah. yeah up-leveling is a cookie. little overused at the moment, but yeah. just the, the fact that people are enthusiastic about it is a good thing. Yeah, I'm with the PPP. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Positive pro pro uh, progress and production. Yes. Has to be. Yes. Has to that's be. That's good. That's a great theme. You know, and it's mm -hmm. everything that I have been able to overcome. Mm -hmm. When I'm on stages, when I'm writing a book, whatever the material, the journaling, whatever the workshops that I'm doing, it's because I've lived it so yes. I can teach it. And people respect that more because they know that you've been yeah. there and done that. And yeah. That's why I think we all need to be sharing our story, with your story, my story. Yes. Um, the theme of my last year's conference was, what's your story? Because we all have a story. Right. And it's always evolving and the next chapters are being written. Right. And, yeah, and it can be whatever you want it to be. Right. Which is pretty, people don't realize that, that it can, your life can truly be what you want it to be. Absolutely. Yeah, we you all don't have to settle. You don't have to settle. You just mm -hmm. have to make the mindset that you're going to make some changes. And even if it's just 15 minutes a day, yeah. um, you can make the change. You can get off that couch. Yes, you can. And you can just by making the commitment that you're going to grow as a person. And Professional or, or personal. Yeah. I mean, Jack Canfield's the 
uh, first chapter in his success principles, you're 100% responsible for your life, mm -hmm. which is so true. Whether it's how you respond to something, what you let in and out of your life, what you do, everything is up to you. Everything. Yeah. Including your health. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Oh, boy. You know this. Your mindset has yes. got to be rocking. We are almost out of time. This flew by. I know. <laughs> I told you it's going to happen quickly because you're so joyful. Well, thank you. You know, so and I you. love I love the pockets of childlike within both of us. Mm -hmm. And I we're never going to lose that. No, we're not. We're and going to be 95 years old and still like we playful. Are. And that's a good thing. And yeah. cookies and cake. Yeah, eat cookies and cake. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be on the YouTubes yes. dancing in the aisles, that's aren't right. we? <laughs> Instead of a pole, we'll have our walkers. That's right. Isn't that funny? Yeah, we're going to have a little, oh, I, swear, oh, I have such adventures in, in my mind. There's no way that you're going to be able to keep good women down, that's, that's for right. sure. That's you know, so and I always say it, I'm leaving this world empty. I want to make sure that I've given everybody all of my knowledge yes. and all of my inspiration. Leave nothing on the table. Leave nothing on the table. It's not going in the ground. And when they burn, make sure that it's just empty, right? Right. So how can people get in touch with you? The best way is through the website, which yeah. is womeninspiring.com or um, phone number 603-744-0400. The website, um, Facebook is also a great way, and LinkedIn, we have some groups on there, as well as me personally. But yeah, social media has been a great tool. Compared yeah. to when I started my businesses so many years ago, it's, I know. it's just such a great way to stay connected with folks. So yeah, Facebook, um, for Women Inspiring Women, or the website, we have a newsletter too that keeps people informed of all the upcoming events and resources and things that we right. can share. So no matter what's going on, you can be found. Absolutely. Yeah, you are and not we, hiding. No, not at uh -uh. all. And we, it's a... I want people to have this as their home. I want them to feel yeah. that way when they come to Women Inspiring Women. It can be whatever they want it to be. Right. And whatever stage that they're at in their life. And as soon as we walk into whatever the venue is, there you are just shining so bright. Oh, thank and you. And so welcoming. Thank you. You know, yeah, you are just, you're well, you delicious. like to give back what, what you have received. Too. Right. So right. it's just me being uh, grateful for everyone that got me to where I am today. Yeah. Just giving back. And that's, that's all it is. Thank and you. as long as you have that mindset. Gratitude. It's exactly. a beautiful thing. Yeah. Thank you. Well, everybody, I never said that life was easy, <laughs> but I did say that you can be happier. And these are the tips that can help you get off the couch and be inspired with like-minded people in your area, whether you're in New Hampshire or online. Leslie's got it all for you. Thank, thank you. you so much, Thank Leslie. you very much. Oh, my God. This is wonderful. You thank you. You are just delicious. <laughs> and it's the you. beginning of something fantastic. It's yeah. going to be our year. It is. Oh, it's so yeah. our year. It's all about the cookies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Time to sweep. I know. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.